Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at inequality graphs. Before we begin, you need to know all about straight line graphs and you also need to know inequalities. If you're not confident with these two topics first, uh, please watch my videos on those topics. I will link them in the description now. Example 1 says, shade the region that satisfies y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1 y is more than minus x minus 2, and x is less than 2. Okay, so we take those equations, and we're going to make straight line equations out of them. So for example, y is less than 2x plus 1, we're going to make that into y equals 2x plus 1. And we're going to graph those blue lines. So uh, we start by looking at the y-intercept, and then we go up by the gradients. Here we've got a y-intercept of 1, and a gradient of 2. This is just about graphing straight lines. But now, we need to graph the inequality. So we want it to be less than or equal to this. y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. So we shade below. And it looks like that. Now, the next one is y is minus x minus 2. So we have a y-intercept of minus 2 and a gradient of minus 1. And it looks like this dotted line here. We shade above that because it says y is more than minus x minus 2, so we shade above. We use a solid black line when it's a less than or equal to or a more than or equal to sign, whereas we use a dotted line for less than or more than signs. If it's got an equal to part, uh, it needs to be a solid black line. Finally, we've got x is less than 2, so we're going to graph x equals 2. And it looks like that. Again, we're using a dotted line because it's not e uh, less than or equal to. It's just less than. And where is it less than? Well, it's on this side. Because we, uh, it's less than, it's going more negative. So we have these three uh, lines graphed uh, on our graph. And we're going to share the inequalities. The inequalities look like this. And where do they all overlap? It is this region here in the middle. And so that is the final region where all three inequalities overlap. Generally, in the exams, you will find that there's a really clear inside region in your four or three lines uh, that you can shade in straight away. Okay. Now, you've uh, got an answer and we can check. To check, we're going to choose a coordinate inside that inequality. And the, I've chosen this uh, coordinate here, which is 1 across minus 1 down. x equals minus 1, y equals minus 1. So x equals 1, y equals minus 1, and I'm going to substitute those into my inequalities and see if it works. So the x is being replaced by 1, the y is replacing by minus 1. And if you do work this out, it does make sense. For example, the top one, uh, minus 1 is less than or equal to 2 times 1 plus 1. So minus 1 is less than 3. That makes sense to me. And it seems that our inequalities uh, are matching our coordinates. And so if you've got a coordinate inside your region that matches all the inequalities, it means you're probably right. Okay. Now, uh, if you feel like you're happy with that and you understood that video, you can try this practice question on the screen. You can either copy this down into, onto the paper, you can do a screenshot and print this screen, or you can do it on an iPad, if you screenshot and do it on an iPad. Uh, try to uh, shade in the in, uh, region that satisfies all these three inequalities. Then I'd like to check your answer by choosing a coordinate inside the region and substituting these coordinates into the three inequalities, see if it works. Okay, I think this should take you about five minutes, so pause the video now and give it a go. But if you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know how well you did in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Advanced Maths is committed to bringing you the best uh, revision videos for maths. Uh, 
as simply as possible. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, good luck in your exams.